Okay, let me explain one simple thing about insulin resistance that apparently nobody really understands, or at least don't, I don't hear them talk about it much. The Randall cycle, okay? When you eat fat and carbs together, your body has to choose which to burn first, but only at the individual cell level. That's important to understand. At the body level, it's usually not that big of a deal because some tissues prefer fatty acids for fuel and some prefer glucose. But what happens chronically? Well, that's a completely different story. If you always have high levels of circulating free fatty acids, especially from seed oils, they effectively block glucose from entering your cells. Your cells literally can't use the sugar. So it stays in your blood and gives you a high blood sugar when you check. But it's not the sugar's fault. It's just the innocent bystander in the story. So no, I'm sorry. It's not the carbs that cause diabetes or insulin resistance. It's the fat blocking the use of those carbs. Fatty acid oxidation raises what's called the FADH2 to NADH ratio. That's just a fancy way of saying that in an overcharged state, electrons get pushed backwards through complex one, through the electron transport chain, and that's called reverse electron transport. The bottom line is that the single biggest source of mitochondrial superoxide is this process. So cut the seed oils. Your cells can suddenly use glucose again when you do that. It's the best path to truly reversing insulin resistance for good. So stop blaming carbs. Start blaming the fat that's blocking your body's ability to use them.